Hello, this is Mark Otnes, one of the original co-founders of the Mopar Muscle Cars of Austin Car Club. Way back in 1986, we founded this club. Recently, I've discovered some old videotapes uh, taken during that time, and I thought I'd share them with you here on YouTube and elsewhere. Some of the videos had music recorded onto them. Of course, that's copyright protected, so I thought I'd just watch this one with you and, and uh, comment on my memories of what, what I'm looking at. So most of the uh, video will be muted. If there was any audio without music, I'll, I'll turn that up so you can hear it. Okay, well, it's been, what, 34 years. Uh, I'll try to see what I remember about what we're looking at here. That's uh, Ken's Superbird. That's my AA Arcuda. Uh, this is, uh, looks to be, that's a 440. Um, there's Ken. Okay, so this is Ken's Superbird. He was uh, all doing a quick wipe down. If I recall, we met at a McDonald's in Georgetown uh, very early in the morning. That's Lance. He was the first president of the Mopar Muscle Cars of Austin. He was also an artist, and he made some custom t-shirts for the club. Uh, we're, yeah, we're just hanging out here at a McDonald's in Georgetown, waiting to do a club convoy from Georgetown up to Dallas. Alright, so it's convoy time. Here we are. That's obviously I-35. We're headed straight north up to Waco. Um, not, not Dallas. Did I say Dallas? Uh, here's all of our cars in a caravan. To me, this is actually the most enjoyable part of going to a car show is driving to it. Uh, especially if you can do a caravan, a convoy, whatever you want to call it, where everybody is together. Look at, look at that. I mean, look, that's Lance and his wife in his 70 Challenger convertible. What a gorgeous car. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. These cars, okay, that sign, I remember that. I painted that for the club. Um, we all tried, we pitched a tent, and we all tried to park together. Sometimes you can't do that. Um, depends on the crowd. Right, Are the we shirt. having fun yet? Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, here's our lineup. It looks pretty good. Yeah, people are checking them out. There's uh, my Cuda. Here's, some, uh, here's another Cuda. Look at that with a shaker hood. Here's a, what is that? A, it's a duster. Uh, is that a wedge? It's a uh, four barrel. Yeah, that's beautiful. There's a, there's a nice old Barracuda. Hard top. Gorgeous. Oh, these, these cuts are kind of fast. I, I can't control that. This is just the way. We... Oh, look at that Pantera. Oh, that is, man, that is fine. That's a sharp looking car. There's that sign again. I had fun painting that. That's just a painted sign. We did everything by hand. Oh, I, did, I made those posters too. Uh, those were actually printed out. Uh, here we are just hanging out, waiting for, okay. Um, now it looks like, uh, yeah. Lance has got a crawfish uh, boil going. Look at this! Oh, this is a this is a tor red. Um, oh, dart, nice dart. Tor red, yeah. Back to the Roadrunner Superbird. Look at that wing, and the graphics can't beat that. Uh, it's got the rally wheels. Um, sorry for the uh, condition of this old tape. It's uh, seen better days. Oh, look at this! That must be a Corvette of some kind. Yeah, this is an old, this is like a 60s Corvette, custom Grand Am, maybe something. All right, uh, nice pant. Oh, there's Jeff Moore. He's got his custom shirt on. And uh, there's my Cuda again. That's got the rally wheels on now. Okay, this is the North Texas Mopar Club from Dallas. So we hang hung out with those guys too. Nice bunch of guys and gals. Oh, look at the headers on that thing. Oh, here's the, I remember this judging line. This was a kind of a nightmare. They had, they had split it into two categories. We were all on the left side and it was like 90 to 100 degrees and we sat in line for a couple hours. It was kind of a, 
Oh, that's nice. Hemi. That's a nice car. There were over 600 cars at this show, so as you might expect, the, the best of the best showed up for this show, and nobody expected to win anything, and I don't think anybody in our club did. But uh, it's easy to see why. These cars have been taken apart bolt by bolt and put back together again and chromed and repainted. There's Wiley Coyote and that Roadrunner. Looking good. Oh, here's a nice uh, Dodge Daytona, another Winged Warrior. Those are probably the ultimate Mopars. The ultimate dream for any Mopar fan would be to own a winged car. Of course, nowadays, I don't even know what they sell for. Uh, I, I think I'm going to say a quarter million, but you can let me know if I'm wrong. There's my, you know, there's those posters I made. There's my CUDA again. There's our tent. We're still hanging out. There's a nice dart convertible. Look at that. Yeah, cars would come and go all day. This was uh, a nonstop event full of action. People driving up and down the main road carrying look at that carrying ice chest another double a car ar cuda his head doesn't have elastomeric bumpers though his had chrome bump bumpers mine had elastomeric i remember that uh there's jeff and in his uh like a 318 kudos another double a r cuda look at this yeah well they came from dallas and san antonio this one's yellow with uh chrome bumpers again yeah Anyway, yeah, look, their cars are coming and going all day. It was just not, not well, here comes Lance again in his uh, 70 Challenger. Very popular car. Uh, here he is talking to somebody about it. I mean, people, I, people talk, okay, and then we had these, of course, poker runs and, you know, whatever they call these silly contests where you jump out of your car. What's he going to do? He's taking it to the driver. Okay, what are they doing? Anyway, it's all timed events, and I guess you would win a prize. He's hitching up his pants, and he's running. Okay, you put something in your pants. Is that the whole point of this? And, oh, and then you got to cross the finish line, and then they, then they would stop the stopwatch. Anyway, back to the cars. That's a 66 Charger. Nice one. There's some more artwork from Lance. He's always doing... Look at this custom airbrushing on his engine compartment. Uh, beautiful. Oh, okay. Now we walked around and dis distributed flyers and other materials. I don't know if this dog's interested. No, he's not. There's Brenda always having fun. She she's uh, she loved being in the club. I don't know if she is anymore. Uh, as a 426 Hemi, uh, big brutal looking thing. Um, Gorgeous. Look at the condition of this. It's a GTX. What more could you ask for? Belvedere GTX. Love those graphics. Hemi. There's the Chrysler Star. Look at those tires. Oh. Oh, man. This is a nice one. Look at the racing stripes on the trunk. Oh, man. Oh, there's Brenda. Look at her. She loves the, she loved the car club. She had a 66 Charger. Um, oh, this Roadrunner's seen it, got a lot of chrome under there. Look at that. They've taken factory air cleaner pieces and the hood supports. Okay, look, here's that Charger. Um, great moving shot of it, so now you can see it in action. Cars are meant to be moving down the road. Uh, this is this is how they look the best. Oh, that, that Charger needs a good paint job. Okay, we're back. They're having, uh, under our tent, they're having the, the crawdads, the crayfish, whatever you want to call them. Um, these, uh, these members were all, like, from Louisiana, so they really loved to, to stick together at, at uh, our car events and uh, talk about being, you know, Cajun or whatever. Anyway, it looks great. It looks like they're enjoying it. I don't know, I'm more of a barbecue man myself, but uh, they tell me this is good stuff, so maybe I'll try it. Oh, uh, well, I don't know what this is, and I don't even want to, I don't know why this is. Uh... All right, well, this is what they're doing in 1987 back in Texas. I don't know what, what you would call this. What's he trying to do with this? It's another, oh, okay, so you hit the ball, 
Now we'll end with uh, Ken shining up his Superbird again. Looks great as always, Ken.